Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily artificial intelligence videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing how to leverage AI with Cloud Convert. If you don't know what Cloud Convert is, essentially, it gives us the ability to do different actions when it comes to changing file types, combining files into PDFs, and so on. All right, let's go ahead and create a new Zap here. We're going to go ahead and rename it to Cloud Convert. And what we plan on doing in today's video essentially is I'm going to set up a manual trigger here using Basecamp and I want to showcase a method using Cloud Convert where essentially we're going to generate a bunch of AI images and then combine them into a PDF and then you can go ahead and leverage that however you want in your business context. Let's do a trigger of a Basecamp. And essentially this is going to allow me to manually trigger this flow whenever I want to go. So we're going to do new to do. Continue here, continue here. We're going to do our account here, we're gonna choose a project. Continue and test this action. All right, that's all good. Let's go ahead and do our AI image steps. So we're gonna use blocks of open AI here. We're gonna do an event, we're gonna do generate image. Continue, we're gonna choose our account. So we can get an idea of what's fully possible here. We're gonna go ahead and use a fixed text for the prompt, but then we're gonna add one little variable here, which is gonna be pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and see how this looks. Supposedly the outputs of this prompt is gonna be realistic images. So instead of object name, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna input our to-do as the variable in this context. So we can go ahead and trigger whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and find it real quick. Here is our to-do, it's called title in this context. And now essentially if I put in, for example, dog, it will replace that there in the manual trigger and then proceed to make a dog in this context. I'm gonna go ahead and up the size here to 1024 by 1024, hit continue and then test this action. Perfect, it went ahead and worked. I'm gonna rename this to image here. And then let's go ahead and just duplicate this three times or two times. So we have a total of three images that are gonna be created here. I'm gonna go ahead and rename every single one, image two. Let's go ahead and do image three. And then proceed to our next step here, which is gonna involve Cloud Convert. And essentially what we have to do with Cloud Convert here is we're gonna go ahead and input these image outputs and then convert them into a PDF. So we're gonna do convert a file, continue continue jump over here and grab the file name which is going to be the output of this url i'm going to do the output format to be pdf and the reason we're choosing pdf here is so we can go ahead and utilize these files or the outputs in merging it into a pdf this will make more sense as we get going here everything else we can leave the same here i'm gonna go ahead and test this action there we go and just so you can get an idea of what it looks like let's go ahead and just copy that and paste it into our tab so made it into a PDF like this, as you see here, but there's only one image within this PDF. But right now we do have our PDF file for one image. Pretty cool stuff here. Let's learn how to merge all of this into one PDF though. I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this two more times. We could in theory set up a looper block here, but for the purposes of this video, we are just focused on the cloud convert and really showcasing all the capabilities of that. This looks good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this action. And let's go ahead and add the last one here, which is gonna be the third image here. As you'll notice, we need that little four there in order to identify it's on the right block. Number four, come up here, number four, perfect. And then as you see here, all we can do is continue and then test the section. So now we're gonna add another cloud convert here. And we're gonna do the invent of merge files into a PDF. We're gonna continue here, continue here. And then essentially the files that we wanna merge is the PDF versions. We don't wanna do the daily outputs as it won't work. So we're gonna do this one. Go ahead and do this one. It's task results files. That's the link we're looking for here. And then the last one right here. Output format, we're gonna go ahead and do PDF here. We could add a name, but we're not going to. We're gonna hit continue and then test this action. There you go, it worked perfectly. Let's go ahead and add one last step here. We're gonna do a Google Drive step so we can go ahead and just upload it to a drive and see what it would look like for our final product. We're gonna say, add a file, upload file. We're gonna choose our courses account here, continue here. And then we'll just do it in the overall drive and then we'll go to file and then we're going to go ahead and do the merge file here task results file and then we can go ahead and say merged images continue test of action and there you go it went ahead and uploaded but let's go ahead and do a test live here and see what the final product would look like so i'm going to go ahead and hit publish here and essentially, as you saw in the beginning of the video, it's going to be a manual trigger, but it's going to take the data from that manual trigger and use that in the rest of the flow. Now that we have enabled it here, let's go ahead and jump over to Basecamp. Now that we're here in Basecamp, all we need to do essentially is add a to-do. I'm going to just put dogs, hit enter. It's going to grab dogs, push it through the entire flow, and then we should be getting a PDF at the end here in our Google Drive. 
as you see here, is currently running. We got success, success, success. It's going through the process of loading the conversions on the files. And now it should be finally uploading to our Google Drive. Okay, it has made it. And as you see here, it looks like the first image, for some reason, it really misinterpreted the input of dogs. But from here though, we got dogs on the second one and a dog on the third one with a missing eye. Also notice the underlying PDF is called merged images like we requested. As always, you can find the zap that we just created today in the description down below. Add that to your project for completely free. But without further ado, if you want to learn more about artificial intelligence and automation for your personal and business life, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how to leverage AI of every single one. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at WebCafe AI. If you want to see daily artificial intelligence content, make sure to subscribe. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.